Hey everybody, Alonzo here with Gulf Coast Smoke, and today, we're busy. So, I want to cook this pork shoulder, and I have a lot going on. Most recently, my wife and I actually opened up Gulf Coast Smoke as a legitimate business, so we have to go do some stuff in town. I promised my kids I'd get them some kinetic sand, and I don't know what else I'm going to have to do today. So I still want to barbecue. I tell you guys all the time, this is just what I do. So we're going to cook this on my Rectech Trailblazer. If you're not aware of what that is, it's a pellet grill. And this is still going to come out delicious. We're going to be able to trim this up, season it up, throw it on the pit, still go into town and do everything we got to do, come back, watch the spurs, and we'll be able to have some good pork shoulder later. I plan on making this into some pulled pork sandwiches, maybe some pulled pork nachos, not too sure yet, but let's go ahead and get this trimmed up, throw it on the trailblazer so I can start running some errands. So this is a backyard pork shoulder. We're not gonna worry too much about an aggressive trim. We're not trimming for competition, but you can see this fat right here, that's a large piece of fat. We don't wanna eat that. So let's go ahead, get yourself a good knife I got myself a good boning knife here and get all that fat off what we're going to be using today for a rub is going to be our meat church honey hog and honey hog hot I actually went on to the meat church congregation Facebook uh, group and I asked them what they thought is a good combo and a lot of people said honey hog a couple people said honey hog hot and uh, a couple people said a mix so I have a little bit of honey hog hot left and I figure, hey, what the heck. So on the back side, there is gonna be a lot more fat and I am gonna cut a little bit of that off. But again, we're not going too crazy aggressive. Um, the reason you wanna cut some of this off is because once you create that bark on this nice piece of meat, you don't wanna have to tear it off in the end just because it's loaded with fat. So like I said, I am gonna go ahead and trim this pretty good. If you're ever trimming and you notice that you hit meat, just readjust your blade. It's really not a huge deal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and finish this trim up and I'll be right back with you in just a second. We'll talk about how we're gonna season this. All right, so like I told you guys earlier, quick trim doesn't have to be too aggressive. You can see that I cleaned up that fat there. You can see some of that nice meat. You can see marbling running through that pork. So now it's time to go ahead and rub it up. I'm actually gonna hit this with a little bit of yellow mustard. You've seen me do this on my ribs. Again, you're not gonna actually taste this mustard. It's just being used as a binder, but I really enjoy using yellow mustard on pork. I, I really don't know why, but it's just kind of what I do. So like I told you guys before, we're gonna hit it with some Honey Hog Hot by Meat Church Barbecue. Great rub, sweet heat, absolutely delicious. So we're gonna go with a base layer of this. It's not gonna be too heavy, but we do wanna make sure that we're covering the butt pretty good. Get the sides, get every side. I've told you guys before, make a mess, clean it up after, it's not a big deal. All right, so then, honey hog, this is a sweet rub, gives it a nice color. This is gonna take this pork butt to the next level. I absolutely love this stuff. It's probably my wife's favorite rub on chicken wings. So try it on chicken wings too. You can go a little bit heavier with this. We wanna create a nice bark on this butt. That's gonna be the kicker. With pulled pork in the end, what you wanna have is a nice bark mixed in with a moist piece of pork. And that's the goal here today. That's what we wanna do. So go ahead and get a nice coat on this. I've told you guys before on large pieces of meat, it's really hard to over season them. So don't worry too much about that. I like the way this looks. Go ahead and pat it in. I'm gonna go ahead and Flip this over, do the same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna throw it on the Rectech. So the other thing that I recommend you doing, you don't have to do this, it's just what I like to do, is throw this 
on a little wire rack if you can. It makes it so much easier to transfer this butt in and out of your pit and you're not going to be putting your hands all over that perfect bark that we're going to create. So I'm running my pit today at 250, a little bit lower than I normally would, but we don't want to overdo this. We do want that bark. The word of the day is bark. We're not talking about Scooby-Doo. We're talking about this perfect butt. Let's put it on the wire rack. Let's get it going. All right, so we're outside Rec Tech Trailblazer sitting at 250, exactly where I want it. I know a lot of you guys out there don't think that cooking on a pellet grill is true barbecue. It's not the pit master way, but I'll tell you what, on a day like today, you're going to want one of these. I definitely recommend investing in one if you like to barbecue because, hey, today I have a lot to do. I want this pork butt to turn out right, and this is going to help me out. So let's go ahead and throw it on, and now it's time to run those errands. Okay, so it's been over three hours. I did all my errands in town and I'm back here looking at the pit. Everything went well. I hope while I was gone, uh, all the business I needed to take care of in town went well, so all is good. I got my kids their toys, they're happy, they're inside playing right now. But we need to check on this butt. I'm looking for a nice color. I wanna see if there's any parts dried out on this butt, see if we need to spritz. And I told you guys before, I like spritzing with 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what we're working with here. And hopefully everything is good to go. We did neglect it for about three and a half hours, but we trust this trailblazer to do its job. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. You can see that color is looking amazing right now. I don't think that we need to do anything. It doesn't look like it's dried out. Everything is looking really good. Nice mahogany color, just like we talked about. Everything back here is looking righteous. The rec tech did its job while I went and ran my errands. So let's go ahead and let this keep rolling. All right, so you can see it looks really good. We don't need to do anything right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep up with my Thermalworks smoke and I want to make sure around 165 we wrap this thing with pink butcher paper. That's going to help us get this meat tender. And I finally decided we'll go ahead and make pulled pork sandwiches. I think I have a couple of friends coming over to eat with me. We'll see how that plays out. Um, but we're going to do the pulled pork sandwiches. We're going to put a little bit of sauce on there, add a little coleslaw, maybe some barbecue beans. We'll see how it all turns out. So now my smoke is telling me that that butt is 168 internal. I want to look at it one more time and I want to see if it's time to wrap. This temperature is just an indicator. It doesn't mean that we're time or it's not time to wrap, but we do want to go ahead and look at it. So let's look at it together. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I think it's a perfect time to wrap. You see that bone there is already getting loose. That's a nice indicator that we're breaking down all the fat inside of this pork butt. Let's go ahead and do this. So we got the pork butt inside. My kids are playing with their kinetic sand. Not sure if you can hear it or not. If you can, sorry, told you before. This is just what we do around here. It doesn't matter. We don't let anything stop us. We got this butt right on this pink butcher paper. I've showed you this before. This is super simple. I have two pieces today and I'm just gonna wrap it as tight as I possibly can. No right or wrong way to do this. Go ahead and get it wrapped up. All right, and we can just take this right back outside. All right, 
We got the butt wrapped up. We're gonna throw it right back on the trailblazer. And we're gonna get this probe in the thickest point of this butt. That's gonna allow us to 100% make sure that we've cooked this all the way through. I wanna cook this to about 200, 205 degrees internal. Once I do that, we can go ahead and take it off, let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then pull it apart. All right, it's 6.30 p.m. We started this pork butt at 12 o'clock. We had to go run errands. We had to do a bunch of stuff. And right now, my smoke is telling me that the internal on this pork butt is 202. So just like always, I wanna verify 100% with my thermopin. So let's do that. Yep, it's looking good. It actually feels really, really nice going in there. So we're gonna pull this off, let it rest for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna pull it apart. Seven hours later, it's finally time to go ahead and unwrap this thing like a present, see if it's pull apart, see if we cook this right. So real quick, just to talk about what we did. We had a pretty busy day ahead of us. We put this on the Rectech Trailblazer, smoked it for about six and a half hours, let it rest for 30 minutes, and now we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart and see how it does. So come on in a little bit closer, and let's see what we're working with. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, look at all these juices going everywhere. You can just see it. So much moisture through and through on this pork butt. We gotta go ahead and tear this apart and see how it tastes. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so I've gone ahead and put it in a little foil pan here. It's gonna make it easier for me to hold these pieces whenever I shred it up. So now, let's see how we did. Let's see if we cooked it right. Oh yeah, clean bone. That right there is an indicator if it's smoked properly or not. So let's leave that right here. And we're just gonna use our hands to shred this up. Oh yeah, juice is going everywhere. It's still hot. We let it rest and it is still extremely hot right now. But look how easy it is pulling apart. Look at the moisture in that meat. It is looking so good. It smells really good. I can smell that honey hog right away. I can smell those sugars and everything coming out of there. I mean, look at that meat. It's got so much moisture in it. And this is impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and keep shredding this up and then we're gonna go ahead and make some sandwiches. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right to it. All right, done pulling this pulled pork up. It looks great. There's moisture everywhere. You absolutely love to see it. This is the Gulf Coast Smoke Way. Let's take a quick bite. You know I'm looking for a piece with that bark on it, just like that. I mean, perfect bite. I instantly get that honey hog coming through. Sweet bite, but then on the back end, I get that honey hog hot. That little kick, man, that takes this pork to another level. What I'm gonna do now, wow, that's so good. Let me get another bite. That bark is looking so good. Man, okay. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna plate up some sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches with coleslaw and barbecue beans, a little bit of killer hogs vinegar sauce. Let's go ahead and get that done right now. So let's take a little bit of our pulled pork and then we're gonna use some of our killer hogs vinegar sauce one of our favorites, goes great on pork. A little bit more. We're gonna mix it in. Oh, that's gonna be next level. Get a nice bun. Coleslaw next. Don't be shy. Put plenty. Then, we're gonna hit it with some Barbecue beans, right on top.
a messy perfection. Next level greatness. This is the Gulf Coast Smokeway. You guys know how we do it. Another killer cook. Some more killer barbecue. This is the Gulf Coast Smokeway. You absolutely love to see it. Hey, thank you for tuning into the video and thank you for all the support I've been receiving so far. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. If you want to, go ahead and leave some comments below and let me know what I should cook next. Hey, I have a lot of cool things planned for this year, so stay tuned and don't forget to hit our website. We put recipes on there every single week, gulfcoastsmoke.com. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.